Mark's lineup shows only positional changes from the side that won in Dublin in the UEFA Cup. Mike Galloway is in central defence with Kenny Black moving forward. The Hearts subs, Eamon Bannon and Alan Moore. And there is Ian Ferguson, the Hearts favourite, since joining them from Dundee United. Only one goal in the league, but four in the League Cup. Well, Rangers field uh, an unchanged team for the, their match today. After beating Cadovici, Richard Goff returned from injury. There's no place in the Rangers team for new signing Andy Gray, and he will certainly come into the reckoning for next Wednesday's Skull Cup semi-final. And there's Ray Wilkins, player of the month, recognition of his splendid midfield work for Rangers. Match referee, the experienced David Syme of Rutherglen and place linesman, Mr McBurney of Dundee, and Mr Robertson of East Kilbride. Tynecastle bathed in sunshine for the B&Q Premier Division match of the day. Yet another sellout, all ticket crowd at Tynecastle. Remember, no Premier Games uh, last week because of international duty. And Rangers have won the first free kick. Checking with the linesman. Henry Smith pacing anxiously. Look at the distance. Cooper cracking it low. Brown. Wins the first corner. 40 seconds on the clock. So pressure on the Hearts defence in the opening minutes. Butcher up there. Just a clutter of bodies. Smith in trouble. And Dave McPherson doing a good job as the Hearts defence were under extreme pressure. And this was the problem ball that put Smith in all sorts of trouble. And McPherson kept a cool head. And they backed away by Foster, but Hearts get a chance to go down the left. Ian Ferguson doing a good bit of work. Foster. And it's Hart's turn to come back at Rangers. A strong reply. Corners conceded at both ends and just over two minutes on the clock. Galloway up there at the far post as Foster prepares to take this one. First and two, but Woods was there. English international, clean pair of hands. Durant's gliding header. Kid put under pressure. Does very well indeed. Tight. Wilkins opening it out. Beautiful ball from Gary Stevens. Walters. Makes it back from Ian Ferguson. Mark's defence uncompromising in clearing the lines. Butcher. Offside, given by Linesman on the far side as Butcher's through ball caught the Rangers attack out of position. Galloway. Butcher forced to clear that one out. Ball to Kidd. Kai to McPherson. And McPherson driving it well over the top, but pushing forward. This is a Rangers, uh, Kevin Drinkle has uh, pulled a muscle, and Phil Boersma giving him attention. And the uh, youngster Scott Nisbet just being brought on. And they uh, checked uh, the studs, of course, Brian Robertson, the linesman. As soon as shouting instructions, clearly towards uh, Nisbet and Walters. Pushing there, spotted by the referee. Well, 
Butcher and Wayne Foster collided there. Butcher appeared to impede the Hearts attacker and the referee, quite correctly, awarding the free kick to Hearts and Terry Butcher, the Rangers captain, being spoken to by the referee. Guy setting it up for Ian Ferguson, but well over the top. Black stopping it. There was a gap, and uh, Ferguson blazed it over the top. Ian Ferguson for Hearts. John Cahoon. The duel on with Brown. Hidden support. The referee waving play on as Cahoon is down. The momentum's carrying hearts on. Butcher beating Foster in the air. Black shot. And Stevens dubbed that perfectly. Almost touched the spin on it. But the heart supporters aggrieved that they didn't get something out of that in the collision between Cahoon and Brown. The referee allowed play to continue but it still came to nothing for Hearts. Foster popping up on the right. Cooper got back, but... Will be a free kick. Quickly taken. Nice bit of play, Mackay with the chance, and Woods! outstanding players and that really deserved the goal he set it up and almost finished it here he is in the initial build-up going for the return that left foot and Woods left hand in comes the corner Butcher there Mackay and Woods was strong and powerful, punching it away to Nisbet. Durant's in the middle, long diagonal run. Room on the left for Rangers to spring something and they can get the ball over, but they're working it low on the right. And Galloway was so cool. to Cooper going round the outside beautifully and then slipping at the crucial moment once again Galloway driving the ball away from the Hearts area for the throw. Ferguson to Walters and Dave McPherson just holding him as we're now in the final minutes of the first half here at Tynecastle. Defence is on top and an uncompromising first half. Butcher, Jeanette trying to get round the back, and the corner. So Rangers finishing the half where they started, and it was that corner that caused problems for Smith in the first minute. Durant and that one was flicked away again. It's another corner. So Rangers pressure in the closing seconds. By our watch, the first 45 minutes are up, and just look how dangerous Durant can be. The shot, and just deflected over the top from Black's head. And over it comes. 
McPherson steering it away. Break on from Hearts. Wayne Foster. Ian Ferguson got back. That was a clean tackle. And Hearts have got a corner at the other end. Oh, what a dramatic finish. To the first half. It seemed there would be no time to take the Rangers corners, but Hearts have managed to squeeze another one in. Hearts, fifth corner of the first half. And again, the cross ball not uh, delivered where needed. Rangers breaking. Just kept in. And Hearts just mop up that attack with consummities. allowing a full two minutes in this first half. Rangers had to make a substitution, of course, when Frinkel pulled the muscle. Very missed that one for once. But a little bit of an ankle tap gives Hearts the free kick. And there should be just time to take this and no more. And hits it long and deep down that left flank. The half time whistle finally sounding. A fiercely fought first half, defences on top. Hearts probably had the better chances. Rangers certainly in the early stages troubled Henry Smith from the corner. But it was Hearts working with the free kick. Ian Ferguson had a good effort. And then, of course, Gary Mackay's shot, brilliantly saved by Chris Woods. Nothing each in half-time. Hearts get the second half underway, and they've got a very good record that time, Castle against Rangers. Last season, both league matches finished in draws. Indeed, Rangers' last league win at Tyne Castle, February the 7th, 1987. seems capable of delivering the correct weighted forward pass. Well, first to that one. Walters, Durant through the middle, chance for Rangers. Penalty. down by Neil Benny. Now this was Durant going through, Berry came right across, bundled him off, and really the referee pointed to the spot correctly. Ian Durant is going to take this one himself. An important penalty kick for Rangers. In off the post. In the 47th minute, the Indurant makes it hard still, Rangers won. Durant shows how it's done. Smith had no chance. And Hart's looking for a quick reply to Rangers opening goal. Cahoon. Foster with the acrobatic hook. Good attempt. Cahoon, a good cross. Foster just shooting wide. Kai stabbing it through the middle and again overshooting everyone. The flag up on all sides. As the Hearts attack seem to be running out of ideas how to penetrate this 
very tight Ibrox uh, back four. Stevens, this bit again laying it off in the air. first half the header picked up good cross Ian Ferguson for Hearts and Chris Woods making sure that was over the top probably Hearts best chance of the second half so far it was a good cross and Ian Ferguson coming into the picture but no real trouble for Woods. Walters and McPherson. Defender forced to concede the throw in. The Rangers searching for a second. Get a corner. Up. And Hart seem to have lost that little bit of zest that they had in the first half and it's Rangers currently looking stronger and more positive the big men up for Rangers first and for Hearts, Durant, Walters deep and Smith was there just too near the keeper that one but again the lesser keeper might have been in trouble on the left, surging forward inside Stevens. Good pass. Chris Woods made that look easy. Wayne Foster boring in and had a really great chance for Hearts, but the big English goalkeeper was positive and really made the challenge when it counted. Tidy play in the middle of the park as the ball just uh, getting some stick from both sides. Nobody has been able to really establish a clear pattern of play in the game. Pushing it around. Kai trying to get Ian Ferguson going, but Wilkins is there. Durant breaking through the middle as Wilkins has got the chance, but Durant is onside, and again Smith is brave and quick. Brilliant bit of work by the Hearts keeper. But a uh, great uh, pass from Wilkins, laid on almost in the toe of Durant, only to be foiled by the keeper. Now Walters from Rangers, turning, twisting, and put it down this bit. Sixty-four minutes, Hearts still, Rangers two. by Walters this bit the destroyer substitution about to be made by Rangers and it's uh, midfield player Ray Wilkins going off who's in an excellent match and Ian Ferguson of Hearts also going off and the men to come on Graham Souness and Eamon Bannon So the Rangers uh, player manager said that he would only play in cases of emergency, but here he is back in the fray again. So Hearts trying to get back on terms, Butcher's there. Black soon as gets his first touch, that was sliced away. Uh, 
as uh, soon as comes down rather heavily. He's okay. And a goal kick. battling hard and that one cannoning off Stevens out for the throw in two hearts from behind and you can see the foot going in and kid going down no question about it Gary Mackay with the free kick kid waited and golf got it away golf and butcher have just been in command at the back for Rangers Tunis, the long ball trying to get Walters. And Durant picking that one up rather easily as Clark seemed to be tiring, flagging in the second half. Nisbet taking it to the flag, winning the corner for Rangers. Nisbet with that uh, second goal at a crucial time for Rangers. Youngster play with a lot of confidence. Bit of an outswinger, Eamon Bannon, the Hearts substitute. trying to get away from his marker does well to get it across Butcher only as far as Gary Mackay Eamon Bannon back to Mackay and it's an own goal Terry Butcher <laughs> 74 minutes Hearts 1 Rangers 2 an own goal by Terry Butcher but this was Bannon's flick Mackay's determination Woods beaten for the first time this afternoon. Durant back to Ferguson. Doubtful if Walters will get that one. And he certainly fouled his man. Under ten minutes left. Can Hearts snatch an equaliser? The butcher's own goal has certainly given them a lifeline. Goff right up on top of Foster there and free kick holding the winger down. So Hearts have really got to go and push forward. Kai to Black, and that's a poor one. You can hear Wood shouting up here. Stabs it through the middle, picked up by Berry. Cahoon. Foster popping up at the right. Butcher with him. Not a good clearance though. Mackay. And Berry could only nod it forward rather weakly. Mark 
Walters. Ian Ferguson to Durant. Nisbet inside, and he almost scored himself. Cool bit of play from Durant there, the way he controlled that. And almost curled it in at the far post. Walters taking over. And Black. Well, I think he knows what's coming. The yellow card is out. Five minutes left, another yellow card. The fourth arch player to be booked, while Walters booked for Rangers. Now Walters here, setting up a chance. Hart's crowd about. Just a little bit uh, too greedy on that occasion. Elizabeth's been battling well. Good ball winner. Walters might try a shot. Always going wide. Now you see the part here. Soonest won it first in midfield. Then Nisbet laid it off beautifully. And Walters was in for the chance, but uh, screwed it wide. Now well, Walters just a... And Smith having to head the ball away. He was outside his area, and look at this. Cooper again, seeing that Smith was out of his goal, tried the long-range effort, but the keeper was back in time. He's so mobile, whether he's going backwards or forwards. Now Hearts. Two and a half minutes left. Bannon. Brown's header, and it was Cooper who decided. But with Gallery breathing down his neck, he wasn't going to take any chances. Corner to Hearts, the third corner of the second half. Berry going up. Galloway's in there too, McPherson, but Goff for Rangers. Foster trying to get it in, Butcher there, and Butcher and Goff have been a real obstacle to Hearts. Walters trying to lay it on over Kidd's head for Durant, but the veteran Hearts player got back in time to get it back to Henry Smith. Good running by Durant, though. Cooper hooks it away. <laughs> Alan Moore for Hearts. Out to Galloway, who's pushed forward now. Good cross. A chance for Hearts and Moore. He can only deflect that when the two substitutes involved straight into Wood's arms. Well, Eamon Bannon has made a tremendous contribution to Hearts since coming on as a substitute, almost involved. And it, it was Galloway's deep cross that really was marvellous. Bannon first time, and Moore could only turn it in. Now Walters. In Durant in the middle. Scott Nisbet limping into the fray, but it's all over. The final whistle is gone. A victory for Rangers by two goals to one in a bit of a battle of a match. They had to be workmanlike in that first half, but in the second half, Ian Durant winning the penalty and then scoring in off the post sent them on their way. Scott Nisbet took advantage of Mark Walters' brilliant pass to the far post, tucked it away, and that was 2 0. And the Low Hawks were certainly thrown the lifeline of uh, Bannon turning the ball in from Mackay, and Butcher put the ball into his own net. Rangers held on to a comfortable win to stay at the top of the Premier Division. First of all, Ray Wilkins, congratulations. Player of the Month, how do you feel about that? Well, I think uh, it's, it's obviously an honour for me to be named Player of the Month, but I think uh, playing within a team as we've been playing uh, for the opening period of this season, it's been very easy to perform to a high standard, as I think most of the players have done so. Now, looking to today's match, what were your impressions of the game? Well, it was vital for us uh, not to lose the game. We need to pick up points uh, every game that we play. And obviously, we won the match 2-1, so uh, that's a nice couple of points for us. And the results have gone nicely for us as well. 
we've just got to keep uh, playing the way we're playing and I'm sure we won't have too many problems. The first goal came from an Ian Durant penalty. <coughs> Uh, he took that one really well. He did take it very well, but it was a nice build-up. Mark fed him a nice ball, and Ian's very good when he's running forward uh, towards goal, as he was doing, and uh, the fella had no option but to put him down. And, of course, the second goal, again, created by Mark Walters. Yeah, Mark said, uh, I think to win that Player of the Month award has been quite an achievement with Mark. He's, uh, he's done exceptionally well for us, Mark, and I think he, not only scoring goals, but he makes the majority of our goals as well. And he showed again with a super pass across the face of the goal, and, and Scott Nisbet just tapped it in. And then, of course, it was another pass at the other end across the face of the goal that caused a little bit of damage for Terry Butcher. Yeah, that's right. Terry's quite pleased with that one. He normally puts them over the top, but uh, obviously it put us under a little bit of pressure with 10 minutes to go. But uh, full credit to Hearts. They kept coming back at us, and perhaps they deserved uh, to get a little goal at the finish. So Rangers in good form <coughs> and at the top of the league. And, of course, we come to their latest signing. Uh, Andy Gray of Rangers. Does it sound strange, Andy? Very strange, yeah. It's, it sounds very nice, but uh, very strange, yeah. I remember in our first live match that we transmitted from Ibrox, you were our summariser, and right. that day you said, what a great atmosphere, it'd be marvellous to play here. <laughs> yeah, little did I think it would actually happen, <coughs> but uh, as I say, I'm delighted. It, it happened very quickly, and obviously it's, it's through lads being injured, but I hope that uh, the lads at Aaron's are injured are pretty quickly. And what were your impressions of Scottish football first-hand today and being involved? I hadn't seen a league game up in Scotland, I think, for, for quite some time now, and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It looked very, very quick. I was actually sh shattered sitting watching the lads. Uh, but it looked very, very quick and, uh, you know, hopefully I get a few games under my belt, I'll feel a lot better about it. So we've got really, a, a, this was a dress rehearsal for Wednesday night and if chosen, you're fit and raring to go. If, when and 